In this video, I want to show you a couple of cool techniques that you can use in your brochure to do some different things instead of just regular boxes or circles. I want to show you how to do these corner options like this. I want to show you how to do drop cat, I mean drop shadow, and also how to combine one photo that reaches across different shapes. So first thing, I'm, I'm going to keep this off to the left and just design over here so you can see the, the effect more clearly. First, to do a shape like this, to have the corners, you would first draw a rectangle. And then you would, I'm going to turn that shadow off real quick. And then you would go to Object, Corner Options. This link right here signifies that all the corners are connected. So if I adjust one corner, let's change this to rounded. If I adjust one corner, all of them are connected and doing it at the same time. If I click this to unlink it, I can then change each corner to be its own thing. So I could change the bottom left and the bottom right to be curved. I could change one to look like this. I can change the other one to be fancy or inverse, both of them inverse, and then you hit OK. So of course you want to make sure that the preview button is linked so you can see what you're doing at the same time. This one has a stroke around the edge. So I could, I'm holding down command and shift or command and option at the same time to make a copy. You could also just do command C, command V to do copy paste. But go back up to object, go to corner object, corner options, and change this to look like the example. Hit OK. And you can add a stroke around the edges and increase at that point. So what I did from then is just keep copying that shape over and over again and reversing it. So this is one photo that goes throughout all three shapes, but the shapes are reversed. Um, so this one's the same as that one, but that one is flipped. So if you wanted to do something like that, you would copy one shape and paste. You can right click that shape, go to transform and flip horizontal. And I'm going to make two more at the bottom. So I'm going to do um, copy paste. Make this one smaller. Copy paste. I'm going to go to arrange or transform and flip horizontally. And you can use the align tool to make sure these are aligned the way you want to. So I'm going to click and hold down shift. Align to the right, click and hold down shift, align to the left, and I'm going to also align these at the top. And these at the top. So this is where it gets a little tricky and I'm going to zoom in so we can so you can see more clearly what I'm about to do, but what I want to do is combine put one photo that goes across all the shapes, but the photo is can it's all the same photo. So zooming in so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. You can first start with with one shape, and I'm going to go to File, Place, and just find a photo. All right, so I found this photo of some KSU students. When I hit the bullseye of that photo the photo stretches all the way across this shape and this shape. It's very large, but I want it to stretch across all four of them. So I'm going to, um, first you have to click the bullseye and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to adjust the photo so it stretches across all four shapes. And then I'm going to adjust that photo to where there are people in each shape. So I can see three gentlemen here, and the rest of the photo would be here, here, and here. 
when you get the photo exactly aligned the way you want it, this one might be a little tricky. It might cut off their faces, but we'll only see once we start adding it to the shapes. But once you get the photo exactly the way you like it, you would copy from the bullseye. You click into the next shape and type, I mean, and hit paste into. And then you do that again. You click into the next one, hit paste into. Click into the next one, hit paste into. It's pasting the photo exactly in that same exact position. So the photo, whether I click here or here or at the bottom one, is all exactly the same position. So if you make a change to one, you'll have to redo this all over again. You can't just make a change and then all of them align together. So you'd have to just replace them over again. Over again. You can, however, adjust the, the frame itself. So not the bullseye, but you can adjust the frame. So if I click on the frame and drag it out, I begin to see more of the students' bodies. And this one, it has his head cut off. So those are the th things that you'll need to watch out for. But this is a really neat tutorial on how you can add a photo to stretch across. So looking at this one again, this is one photo and it shows all their bodies. Nothing is totally cut off like a, like a head, a neck situation here. Um, so you want to make sure and troubleshoot for those items. And lastly, to add a drop shadow to your photos like this one. So I'm going to zoom in. You would go to effects at the top and hit drop shadow. And you can make sure the preview is on. Right now the opacity is set to 24. The standard is around 75 and it's very, very, very dark. So you wanna make sure that you're adjusting the opacity so it's not a super, super dark drop shadow. You can also change the distance. You can go further out, you can go further in, you can change the angle of the light. You can change the blending mode to make it lighter. I like to keep it at multiply. The effects panel also has other things that you can just toy around with. These are all on a case by case basis, but an inner shadow would add the shadow on the inside of the frame, outer glow, inner glow, a bevel and emboss gives more of a 3D look on shapes, and and so on. But as you select the the boxes, you want to make sure not to just select it, but also click on the actual thing so you can change the settings. If you just turn on the check mark and don't actually click the glow, you can't adjust the settings. So anytime you're uh, you're adjusting the effects make sure that you're going through each one of the items. Once you have exactly what you like, you hit OK.